father. It's me, Michael. I did it. I found it. It was right where you said it would be. They were all there. They didn't recognize me at first, but then they thought I was you. <laughs> and I found her. I put her back together, just like you asked me to. She's free now, but something is wrong with me. I should be dead, but I'm not. I've been living in shadows. There is only one thing left for me to do now. I'm going to come find you. I'm going to come find you. It seems someone has been caught snooping around. Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, after closing time. Naughty, naughty. Whatever shall we do with you? Whether you struggle or not, it makes no difference to me. I am here to protect Freddy and his friends. This wonderful pizzeria. We play hard. We work hard. We dance and we sing and we party hard. But even Freddy Fazbear's pizzeria has a closing time. I know not your reasons for sneaking around. Could you just be a simple trespasser? Heard all the rumors about this place. The many disappearances. Or perhaps in some strange one in a million chance. You are interested in hearing what I have to offer. It makes no difference to me. You've arrived in the right place at the right time for me, William Afton. I've been researching as always. <clears throat> Engineering, animatronics, and other fun toys to play around with. It can be a little dull sticking into one field of expertise. So I thought, uh, 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 you are restrained for a reason. Don't be rude. You wouldn't want to upset me now, would you? Good. Now sit. Not that you have a choice, and listen to what I have to say. Even with my love of engineering and creativity, too much repetition, too much of anything, will dull the nerves and make things boring. No one wants a boring world. And that's where you come in at the right time, at the right place. I've been researching another field. Through combinations of certain substances that may or may not be under legal dispute and ethical boundaries that some may not wish to cross, as well as 
induction techniques that some have never tried. I thought I would take myself into realms beyond where most human beings fear to tread. I've always admired the idea of saving myself the conversation. How many people have I spoken to to convince to see the beauty and the darkness that I reside in? I have some people that have agreed. Very few. Very, very few. It hurts my feelings. Some are so unable to be open-minded. But I've been researching means to make them more malleable to my suggestions. I think you will be the perfect first subject. Not if you agree, if you'd like to be part of a fun little experiment. Playtime, if you will. Oh, that makes me so happy to hear. Now, let us begin. For any exercise to start, you need to be relaxed. Don't worry about where you are, or even the restraints you find yourself in. Don't even pay attention to the animatronics staring in the background. They are simply our friends. We're all together to play around. Now, sit back and relax. You're safe with Mr. Afton. If you look beyond me, there's a computer screen over there. Dreadfully outdated, but efficient enough for our purposes. You may notice a strange moving pattern on the screen. Watch it. A strange spiral-like motion, weaving black and white into a beautiful spiral pattern. It is beautiful, isn't it? It looks like it could go on forever and ever. Blending the colors black and white, light and dark, into this lovely little image I'd love you to focus your eyes on. Focus on the center. It's a gift I'm going to give to you. With this simple pattern, I'm going to erase, relieve you of all of your stress, all of your worries, all of your tension, and I'm going to make you feel what you've always wanted to feel, happy. Wouldn't that be nice? Me and you and the rest of the animatronics, we can be happy. All you need to do, sweet little butterfly, is relax, stare into the spiral, and imagine your body is as light as a feather, a feather so light it drifts in the wind. During the sunny days and the coldest of nights, Your body will feel lighter and lighter, just like a feather that you can visualize in your mind right now. What color is that feather, may I ask? An 
interesting choice. You didn't even need to think about the color of the feather. It just came to you, naturally, like the breeze carries the feather and the spiral continues spinning. And as this spiral continues to spin and this feather in your mind continues to drift into a sweet gentle breeze, your body feels more and more relaxed. You feel a warm sensation pulsate through your veins. You aren't too hot. You're nice and cozy and relaxed in this chair. All you have to do is stare at the spiral and imagine the feather in the wind. And this warm, cozy feeling is just like snuggling into a blanket on a cold, dark, rainy day. Isn't that a nice feeling to have? Would you like to continue this lovely sensation? Then just keep staring into the spiral. I can sense in your eyes this this world is it has wronged you in some way. You do not deserve that. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be relaxed. You deserve to take what you want. And you'll find as you look at the spiral that what you want is to keep relaxing more and more. And as we go a few minutes into this exercise, notice how much more relaxed you feel. You can almost feel yourself becoming drowsy. Perhaps even a little yawn might enter your mind. Just relax. Let it all happen. If you need to yawn, if you need to stretch, if you need to get more comfortable, then do so. Everyone's happy and safe here. Nothing bad will happen to you. In fact, quite the opposite. You're going to feel more relaxed and more happy than you've ever felt. All you have to do is listen to my instructions. Why don't you give us a smile? Ah, such a beautiful smile. Your eyes look almost glazed over, like drifting in between a sweet dream and a deep, blissful sleep. But I want you to stay awake. I want you to keep looking at this spiral and continue to allow this warm, comforting sensation to enrapture your entire body. Now you're going to find, when I tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I am going to count down from 50 to zero. And as I count closer to zero, you will feel more and more relaxed. A smile gradually filling your face and more and more sleepy and more and more open to suggestions. When I reach the count of zero, you will go limp.
you will fall into a deep sleep. A deep dreamlike state where all you can hear are Mr. Afton's words. My dear sweet butterfly, you're doing oh so well. Thank you so much. Such beautiful eyes, such a beautiful smile. I knew I was right when I selected you. Now, stare at the spiral and let's cut down 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45. 44, 43, 42, 41, 40. Feeling oh so relaxed, so nice and peaceful, so sleepy, you're doing oh so very well, my little butterfly. Continue counting. 39. 38, 37, 36, deeper and deeper, 35, 34, 33, sleepier and sleepier, 32, 31, feeling weightless, happy, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, you are doing oh so very well, 23, 22, 21, 20, now as we count down from 20 to 0, you feel your eyelids growing heavier and heavier. And you can try as hard as you can, and you want to keep looking at the spiral. You want to try with all your might. But the closer to zero we reach, the heavier our eyelids become. And the sleepier you will feel. And when you reach zero, you will feel ultimate bliss as you sink into the most soothing, gentle sleep. And you'll feel like nothing can ever harm you again. Nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten. Now, it's time to find out how happy you want yourself to be. Eyelids growing heavier and heavier. Ten. Deeper. Nine. Gentle. Eight. Sleepier. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. You're doing oh so very well, my sweet butterfly. And as you try with the last of your strength, your mind fading, your body relaxing, we will count to zero. And all you can hear is my soothing voice. And zero sleep. Sleep, my sweet butterfly. You look oh so beautiful when you're dreaming. 
In this dreamlike state, words pass through your mind, like that feather you imagined in the wind. You have done oh so very well. Don't you feel happy, my little butterfly? Good, good, good. That's what I want to hear. That's what you want to hear. You want to be praised. You want to be told how good you are. And in order to be good, to receive praise, you simply need to follow my instructions, my commands, and obey. When I count from zero to five, you're going to wake up completely happy and obedient to every one of my commands. I have released your restraints because I know that I can trust you. I'm very proud of you, my little butterfly. Now, zero, one, two, three, four, five, and awake. Hello there, beautiful. Such beautiful eyes, a beautiful body, but more importantly, a beautiful mind. Now it's time to test your devotion to Mr. Afton. I think a simple gesture will suffice. I want you to be very good for me and get on your knees. Hmm. What a beautiful sight. You're doing oh so very well. I'm so proud of you. I couldn't have asked for anyone better. I want you to look me in the eye. As I get closer to your face, I want you to look in my eyes and imagine those spirals that you saw on the screen. I want you to say, Mr. Afton, I would do anything for you. Say it, Mr. Afton. I would do anything for you. Ah. You're going to be such a fun playmate. We're going to have so much fun together. For the many plans I have for the future. And ones that will only involve you. Now stand up. You are forever. At my command, you will do anything I say, won't you? Because you are very good. Every now and then, I will stroke your hair, I will pat your head. I will tell you the sweet things that you want to hear, that you have been denied your entire life. There is eternal happiness to be found in serving Mr. Afton. Such a precious, beautiful, innocent little butterfly. Follow me. To your happy future. And join me as yourself, Freddy and his friends. Get up to all sorts of mischief. Happy to have you on board as a member of the family, dear sweet butterfly. Thank you.